Hello you guys, how are you? Sorry for this crazy chaotic background, but I am where I need to be, trust me. So this is going to be a humongous Dollar Tree haul. So this video is going to be long. I am forewarning you now. I thought about breaking it up into pieces, but seriously, I need to get this stuff off my floor and organize. So I'm like, I'm just gonna do it. And if you guys want to just press that play button and listen to it in the background, feel free to do so. I do that all the time when I am cleaning and when I am crafting, I search Dollar Tree hauls and then just listen and kind of glance, listen and glance. Put this up a little bit. There we go. So this is my workspace. Sorry, it's messy. I am in the middle of filming videos. Um, so this is a Dollar Tree. I'm just going right in. There is no spiel this time. Um, I'm doing a Dollar Tree haul from California and Kansas. So I'll tell you what stuff I found in California because there was, I would say, a difference from store to store. Um, I'll let you know. Sorry. I like put all my stuff on the opposite side of my camera because I thought I was going to film this way and the lighting sucked. So there's no rhyme or reason for what order I'm doing this in. I'm just going to go for it. So in Kansas, I felt like we had the most fall stuff out in California. I only found one store that had some pumpkins in it, which I will show you. But um, I did find these beauties right here. I want you guys to pay attention when you guys pick these up to the sides. I didn't realize it at first until I grabbed a couple. So you can see this one has that side, this one has the wood because I was like, if I wanted to piece these together to create like a planked wood sign, I would literally have to do nothing to the sides because it would all be a cute wood pattern. So keep that in mind when finding these. They are super cute. It doesn't say the size. I should probably bring a ruler out next time. So I got six of those. Of course I got only like one random of this, what, what do you call it, like a corn husk or I don't know. I'll definitely DIY these. I am not planning on keeping them like that. Let's see what else you guys. Um, Here in Kansas, I found these. There were literally three letters in each one, in each color, but I didn't care because I don't care about the letter. I am going to just be decorating them like this. I probably won't do anything to them. I will use them as decor in my house and just make sure to put them backwards. And this is the orange right here. And they're so nice. I love how they're tall. I'm obsessed with this one, how it looks like wood right there. So. I got a few of those because I'm going to use this decoration. Um, these I found in California and they were stunning. Look at that. And they're pretty, I mean, they're decent size, you guys. Look at that thing. And I only was able to find two of them, so I snatched them up. And then I got these from California. I did not find these here in Kansas. And there's also like a green one that's taller. I couldn't find it, um, but if I do, I'll show them to you. Sorry about this weird shadow right here, but there are those. And it's nice because they have like a hole in them. So you can stick like twine in there You could, and then you could repurpose the little leaves if you want. Those are super cute. Let's see, here's some other fall stuff. This, I really liked the color. I've heard this is gonna be like the color this season. I um, know there, did I get the pumpkin that looks like that? Eh, never mind. it's green. <laughs> Let me see, is there another one? No, but I got this one and I might just leave it like it is. I just like the color a lot. So there's that one. I think that one's new this year. Got a couple of these, holy glitter. These are, super glary and they're everywhere but i was thinking for these you can even like spray paint these spray paint them spray them with um hairspray so the glitter doesn't fall off and then we can reverse it 
and we could do something for Halloween on this side. So that says, gather with grateful hearts. This one says, pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. And this one we could even reverse and like paint in um, orange and then put a different saying on them. So I grabbed two of those because I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with them yet. And then I got one of each color of these beauties. Again, I will probably just keep these as is. So these two are different shapes, as you can see. Love this like, I don't know, mauve color. And then these are the same size. And they're just so pretty. Like you would never ever guess if you went into my house and like saw my decor that this was Dollar Tree stuff. Like ever. They're gorgeous. They're gorge queen, you know what I'm saying? put all this stuff for the meantime but that stuff I'm definitely going to be this is just more of those like wood looking pumpkins I told you guys about <sighs> my stuff is everywhere I'm so sorry you guys you're gonna keep seeing me like climb in and out of focus um I found these in California which I have not seen at any of my dollar trees here in Kansas so I think I got one, two, three, four, like five of them. I love these. You can use these for fall or I feel like you can definitely use them for winter too and just maybe like paint those pine cones with a little bit of white to make it look snowy and these will be gorgeous. And let's see, so let's separate those. And then where's this one? I think, like, look at how pretty this stuff is you guys you can easily like fold this up where did our get your pumpkin probably put a little bit more stuffing in there but you know what I'm saying like just to show you like something quick but that is so pretty and so simple two dollars and you have yourself a cute little decor for like a side table or whatever it is I love it picked more of these up I use these in a DIY already and thought they are going to be perfect for a Halloween DIYs so I wanted to snatch more oh sorry my nose is itching I won't go through these all but fall I thought these little baby sunflower looking one okay hello we're gorgeous that's okay if you fall off that's cool got I have an idea for these eucalyptus and some coffee cups ooh, ooh. so I got three of these I actually have not purchased any of these before I've purchased like those side ones that like are supposed to be magnetic oh, I don't know. like I said I'm not going in any specific order so everything is everywhere these pencil holders they have the suction cup on the back I've seen these on so many hauls and I was so excited to finally find them um, I have so many ideas for these you guys we can paint these up we could put florals in them and I was like, like hmm. paint them put florals in them stick them on a wood sign you can even stick this like let's paint this put a little saying on it and stick it on your fridge or your bathroom mirror or you can use them how they were intended um thrifty tiffany she is one of my favorite youtubers for um dollar tree hauls she bought them to put toothbrushes in and they just stick on her bathroom mirror and she showed us like a little snapshot of that so possible like endless possibilities with these so i got four of these i didn't want to like Get compulsive because I do that very often so I just press pause and told myself I only needed four my kids are fighting upstairs so you're fine um, also since we're into the core stuff I think these are older you guys I went to this Dollar Tree in California and I'm pretty sure a lot of the stuff was like older that maybe they have found like in shelves and then pulled back out or something because some of the stuff like I've seen used in 
old like YouTube DIY videos. So I don't know if they're coming back out or they just like are bringing them back. But I found four. I found like this color, this blue, a black, and a red. And that's all I found of them. And they're like glass. And I was like, these are gonna be so pretty maybe for Christmas or something. I don't know. I just thought they were gorgeous. Like even if you paint them white, distress them a little bit with gray or black, put them in a basket, you're set. I got all of my dogs. You wanna say hi? Come here. Really? Really, Spazola? Come here. Really wants to say hi. This is, we call her Frankie Bell because we call her Tinker Bell and Frankie. Oh, yeah, hold on. Okay, I found these. Is it crafting by Caitlin or crafting with Caitlin? She has used these a couple times and she loves them. I personally personally work with wood signs. I don't think I would ever use them on there, but I was like, I am willing to try it out and maybe they would be fun for like smaller projects or um, like coloring in frames instead of taking out a whole like can of stain. These are furniture scratch markers. So they come in different colors, like mahogany, walnut, black, cherry, maple, oak. Uh, seeing if it like has any, I mean, I guess I can open them, right? Okay, or not. Waterproof, dries quickly, helps cover scratches and scuffs on wood, blend the three shades to match your furniture. So yeah, uh, promptly, Rub area with soft cloths, remove any excess stain. Additional applications will darken the surface. Apply as many times to re um, reach desired color. So I think these would be cool to just try out. I mean, why not? I work with signs all the time. Um, let me see what else. DIY. I got some ideas, you guys. These are just night lights that I pick them up little light bulb no pun intended went off in my head the other day and I was like <gasps> I want to do something with those so I got just two so I could try them out and Everett wants to say hi hi you, they can't see you honey. Hi. Hi, Mama, you gotta come hi. right there there you go hi okay you don't need to show them your teeth honey there you go <laughs> And then I grabbed one of these. I don't know what, I, originally, you know what, I wish I would have had this when we were road tripping to California because then I could have read when it got dark, but I didn't have this. And then uh, Sheik on the Cheap said she was gonna do something like a Halloween DIY with it. So I was like, hmm, I wonder if we can come up with something. So we'll see. But this is a clip-on book light, just so you know. And you guys, the lights, at Dollar Tree are good. They are good lights. And then I just got these. It was a two pack of lint rollers. And I buy things like this sometimes from Dollar Tree just for decorative purposes or like um, displaying my DIYs. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was a two pack. They have one for a dollar or you could get this one for a dollar. So which one do you think we're going to get? This. Oh, hi, Tinkerbell. Yeah. Okay. Then I found this, it's a dry erase locker wallpaper. And this one I found in California. I've never seen it here in our Kansas stores, um, but I thought this could be super cool. I think it's like, let's open it up. I'm, I'm assuming it's adhesive, but Maybe. I could be wrong. Maybe, Mama. Maybe. If we just did the trash for you. Okay, babe, you're in the middle of the camera. Can you, can you, there's a trash right over there. Thank you. Sorry, they have tape all over this. I feel like a kid on Christmas, and I'm like, seriously, how many times did you tape that box up? Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see. like so tight too though okay go super far okay this is not adhesive at all i thought it was going to be adhesive like a pill hold on baby 
a peel and stick, but it is not. So we could still work with it, you know? So I got this, they had other designs in it. So which one do you want to show now, Ever? Okay. I got this, they have a bunch of these, you guys, and we're gonna use this for a Christmas DIY. So make sure you grab one or two of these. It's gonna be super, super cute. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I need you to keep your voice down. Okay, and then I finally found some of these, the, um, what do you call them, 3D wreath forms. Yeah. And I found the smaller, and then yeah. I found the and bigger big one. ones, yeah. And so I cannot wait to and, play around with these guys, instead of having to cut the other wreath forms that come like in the threes, you know? You don't guys, have to cut these apart. Go ahead. Yeah, do. We already showed those, honey. Yeah. And then I grabbed another one of these. These are so awesome to do oh, easy. Okay. These are so easy to do with your wall decal. Did you just burp in my ear? For real, bro. These are good to do with wall decals. So, um, and this one is, it just says 10.2 by 15.2. Does the whole family have to come down here? Come on, dude. And we kind of step on everything. Ugh. Okay, I already, everything over here, babe, I already show, okay? I'll have you hand me stuff over there. So I grabbed these. These are great for DIYing. They're great if you don't want to, hold on, baby, stick nails in your wall. These work really good. They are super yeah. duper 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 sticky. And they also yeah, come in white. Yeah, yeah. guys. Okay. No, I already did those, honey. Why don't you grab me this? and then grab me the other one and then i found yeah these which are new i'm thinking christmas but um and the other one baby the tan one or i i mean i don't know they're just so odd they're obviously decorative pieces like i love this one if you watch um diy by jazz or diy jazz hank get out of my bags um, in one of her projects, she displays it with this, and it looks so okay. cute. Um, but I was thinking more like Christmas. I don't know. Um, what, baby? That's okay. This could even be something fun for like a dad gift, like a golf ball like type. Of, I don't know. But And then they have like a plain black one. So I got one of each, and I guess we'll see what we come up video. with. This is real life. I'm not gonna edit any of this either. No, I'm not. Hope you guys like dogs and kids and all of it because that is what you get here at this channel. Uh, all right, something I have not seen on a haul yet, which they had in my local store, um, are these. The family, hold on baby, and gather. They're pretty thick. They are yeah. pretty well made. And these things go for, baby, these go for like at Michael's. Michael's is usually where I get these. And they also have them at Hobby Lobby, of course. But they're so much more than this. So a dollar. I got a few because I'm like, you can use these on wood signs, on wreaths. Possibilities are endless. Like, look at how thick those are. They're great. And they'll be great for painting. And they say family and gather. Those are the only two and words I could find. These are, I just got two white candles oh, uh, yeah. for displaying and taking pictures. I don't like them or anything. They're just for displays. And then, Everett, do you want to hand me the little okay. cactus looking ones? Okay. Yep. What's that one? They're all right there. And then I found these. This is my happy place, which I've seen some people haul, but not everybody has. Um, live what you love, which I, I still, I do not get, turn it around. Love grows here. Still do not get this saying. Like I get, I, I guess I get it, but then I don't live what you love. It just like doesn't like flow properly, you know? Yes. Um, and these are actually going to be in my, giveaway which is now closed you guys if you didn't know about it that means that you're not watching all my videos all the way through okay so that is part of the giveaway oh no 
Oh, there it is. Okay, Please. these, you guys, smell. I don't know how they burn. I mean, I guess I can, can light them and them? then tell you. Yeah, smell it. Good. So look at the detail, if you can see it. They're like flowers. And this one is Moonstone Musk. And this one is Pink Quartz. And they smell great. And I'm like, even if they don't, hold on, baby. Even if they don't, like, give off a smell, because I use wax melts anyways, I was like, these jars are so cute. You can use them for office supplies, or we can DIY them and turn them into something yeah. completely different. So I thought these were adorable. They come in other colors as well. I just got the two for now, so I wasn't going to pull them. Mm -hmm. And then I found these. I don't. I, I don't think they're new or anything. Oh, is that one like super? Oh, that one's broken. Okay, we could we could glue that one back. Yeah. But I thought these could be cute for a Christmas DIY. So pick up these if you want to follow along. Yeah. And I got this candle, and it's just because oh, it smells like the beach. It is coconut and beech wood. Um, it's called Ambient by it like the beach. It does. Ambient by Sure Sense. This, I mean, I don't even have to light this. Like I might just like keep this by my bed, take a little snifferoo every now and then, you know? That's I don't need to show that baby. That one's old. You can hand me those though. Me? Nope. Me? Those. Alright, hopefully you're hanging in there with me. I told you it's large. We still got so much more, you guys. Who has seen these? Nobody. So I actually haven't seen these Nobody. Okay. on um, any of the hauls I've watched, I don't think, but I have seen them. I um, am in like Dollar Tree haul and swap sites. If you guys are not on those, mm -hmm. what baby? It's okay, honey. If you guys are not on those, seriously, let me know if you want um, the link to the Facebook group because you can find so much stuff from those sites because people like buy boxes of things from the site and they can't obviously use it all. So they'll do like D stashes and then like put all the pictures in the comments. It's legit, they go through PayPal. It's $1.50 each item to cover cost of like, you know, the packaging, time, all that. And then of course you get charged shipping. So you can find some really good stuff or old stuff. Everett, I need you to hold on. Hey, no, no, you know better. Well, this is what happens when you ignore the dog. Uh, but so that is where I saw these calendars and then I went into my local store and I got two of each because I thought these would be great to give away as Christmas gifts and DIY with. And no, I won't use them because I use like this mom calendar. That's pretty awesome. So the first one, sorry for the glare. Everett, I need you to hold on. Okay. This is Farmer's Market 2021, 12 months. You guys look at these. Hey, Everett, can you stop? That is so loud, babe. Look at these pictures. Uh, tell me you don't want to DIY with these. Hello. These are gorgeous so get in your dollar tree that's the farmer's market one then there's shine bright in all you do so that's what this one sorry i'm trying to find the angle and then look at these beauties i love that sunflower one and these say like, you can find joy even in your most difficult days. Be kind, thankful and blessed. Um, so pretty. And then I found this Simply Blessed. Yeah. That one's awesome, Mama. I just hope I haven't, you know what? We can open one of these right now. Yeah. I just hope because some of the calendars that you get from Dollar Tree, they're so, um, yeah. the pages are, <laughs> Everett's like, yeah. Um, sorry, I'm gonna use my teeth right now. I know that's gonna make some people cringe. Um, it was either that or I get up and then like my butt's in the frame and I don't think anybody wants to see that. Um, a lot of the calendars are so thin that like you can see the numbers and stuff. Hold on baby, on the back of them. 
So I'm wondering, yeah, for this oh, one. that's actually not that bad. So can you guys see? I could hardly see them. Cause there's one I got my daughter and that one, I can't even reuse the pages because you can tell, ooh, you guys. Mm -hmm. What babe? Thank you. Look at that one. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe, oh gosh. You guys, seriously, cut all of these out and we are gonna make some wood signs with these babies, okay? Or even the pizza pan trays. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited. These are gorgeous. They're, they're all just gorgeous. They are all gorgeous. Look at that. Like, how are these Dollar Tree, you guys? Yeah. Right, Everett? Yeah. I know. They're expensive. They're expensive. They, yeah? They look expensive, huh? Yeah. And then let's see this one. <gasps> that one was cute. This is Be Brave. Yeah. Oh, jeez, babe. Here is the back of that. Look at that pumpkin. I am all about that pumpkin. It says, wonder often, wonder always, explore. Every day is a new opportunity to make a new ending. Do more than exist. I like that. So I got some for gifts and then some for, or maybe giveaways, who knows? Um, and then some to DIY with, and those were the prettiest ones. And then the other, all the other stuff was, you know, their usual. Um, picked up things we've seen before. I've used this on my. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. Um, if you participated in the giveaways, then this part is for you. Uh, the giveaways were hidden in my videos. So those of you that watched my videos all the way through, I kind of hid them deep in there um, and asked some questions. So I wanted to make sure that I let you know uh, who are the winners of those giveaways. And then um, I chose three people, one from each of the videos that I put the hidden um, little video inside. So I will go ahead and get to that. I will message you guys um, probably after 24 hours or so. Um, so the winner for the Boho DIY Nailed It or Failed It video, that is going to be Geraldine Self. So congratulations to you. Make sure you email me at unicorndustdesigns at yahoo.com. It is linked in my description box. Um, the winner from the Easy Wood Sign DIY is Kelly, I want to say honey, 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 we'll say honey. Um, uh, you are the winner for that video. So again, just email me your address and I will send that out. And the third winner for the Chris Farmhouse Christmas video, it is going to be Lisa Christopher. So if you guys can email me your addresses, I will try shipping those out sometime this week. Um, I do show what you are going to be receiving at the end of the video. So keep watching. And thank you guys so much for watching my videos all the way through. It really helps my watch time, which is what I need now to get monetized. So it does mean a lot to me and it does help support my channel a lot. Um, for those of you that are wondering, I did do these. I count the names one through however many people commented, and then I use a uh, random number generator to pick these. So they are chosen at random. Um, so I hope you guys continue watching, and I will see you in the July next video. Um, patriotic challenge. Um, and you can just use them for anything. So I got more of them. Can you put those over there, buddy? What? Over here? Just right there. Okay, then we found these that everybody hunts for. Mm -hmm. And then I got all three sizes. Found these in California. I still have not seen these. They look like a house. Yeah, they do look like a house. Still have not seen these anywhere in Kansas. Um, but I just got back from California and I've only went by one store, so you never know. Um, but I got all three sizes and I got four of each size. I promise I am not that person that did not leave anything on the shelf for y'all. I did. They had a ton at this store and they were displayed on like their glass shelving, like the round ones. When you first walk in, they were like stuffed in there, all three sizes. So 
I got four of each because I am gonna use the crap out of those. And then, okay, let's see. I found this. I don't know what I'll do with it, but it seemed fun for Christmas. And these are so soft. So I don't, tell me you guys, do you know what this part is for? Like, do you use it if you are a um, crocheter or something? It's like wrapped in this stuff. See, I don't know. But I thought this would be fun for a DIY Christmas project. And let's see what else. You guys, I got bags. Hold tight. Hold tight. You want to see the goodies? Goodies, goodies, goodies. You want to hold up this one? Yeah. So I found these. I have never seen these before. But I thought they were just nicer than like these. Even if you painted them for signs or to hold your wreath or um, like I like putting these if you do, if you look at my home sign that I did, a wood sign, thank you buddy, you're doing such a good job. Um, that would be cool to put one of these on there and then that way you can interchange like wreath forms. So I got these, I got three packs because I had never seen them over here. So. Yeah figured why not picked up you guys a lot of these because they're hard to find in Kansas which are the wooden letters there you go good job um these only come with yeah that's fine baby 26 letters so I learned that when I was working on my mason jars um I thought they had duplicates I obviously did not read 26 piece um so I bought a lot of these just because they don't have duplicates in them. So keep that in mind when you do buy them. So this is the store in California, this bag I'm going through that I swear they just had like went through their stuff and found like a bunch of old, put it over here maybe, like this. There you go. That says keep life simple. It has like, here, let's turn around. Some bumblebees and stuff on there. <laughs> And then I found these, like even the packaging just looks like beat up. But I thought these could be fun for, turn it around. For some DIYing, Mod Podge. Can you pick the next one? Well, we gotta pick it out of this bag. So this store in California, like I said, it looks like almost they went through their shelves because a lot of the stuff I found was like from older YouTube like videos I've seen, like these for instance. And I love these. I actually have a couple from. Can you shut hey. the back? Yeah, you can shut the back. It's plain. Thank you, bud. So I grabbed a couple of these, actually three. See, this is nice. Now I can put all this stuff away. It's been on my floor since I got back. Oh, so, you okay? put her out. so something else that I feel like is old because I've never seen them. But your girl grabbed them. Yeah. Hold on, these are sharp, baby. So these are those work that crown, but they're the galvanized ones. And I'm like, gosh, I could do so much with these. So I just grabbed them because I'm gonna DIY the crap out of these. Let me tell you. Yeah. Um, so I grabbed those, and I'm sure those were older. Hold on, honey. Found this cool sign that was already like planked and says enjoy the journey and of course I'm not going to keep it but if you look like it's already planked it already has the grooves for you so if we just paint yeah. this another color put a different quote on there or whatever or we could put a picture from the calendar paint it white calendar Mod Podge we got ourselves a brand new sign okay found this adorable book this was originally $16.99, you guys. And it is scissors, paper, and craft. So it walks you through how to make this stuff. Like, can you believe this was in the dollar? Let me see. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Yes, honey. They have a whole one. That's okay. There is one that I think is so adorable. Yeah, go ahead and open it. Where are you? No, like how to make cards. These little, oh, these little pigeons. 
look at how cute that is to hold notes. If you're somebody that scrapbooks, this would be so cute. And then on the back, it gives you the templates to use. How awesome is that for a dollar? It's so pretty. I might actually crack into that. And then everyone wants to show you this one. So we just got that one just because we could repurpose the frame. Huh. Yeah. I like that the frame was like deep in here. So. And then that's the one you did. Yeah, I got doubles of that. Can I open it? They don't have a tool too. Yeah, that's okay. And I thought, look at how pretty this is, you guys. This is on canvas. And I thought this would just be pretty to do a reverse canvas, stain it. But then, you know what I just noticed, you guys? That's okay. It's like the cardboardish, not like the actual wood frame, but we could also paint that gold or ooh, maybe like a deep dark blue and then place it on top of our canvas. But this was stunning. I love this. I love that. So I found that, found these and I, thank you for showing that. Okay, they're good. Here, you can put it right over here. Um, I thought these would be fun for Halloween projects. They're magnifying, <laughs> magnifying sheets. And I think there's just one in a pack. It does not say what. I don't even know if they, do they work? Ever, okay. Do they work? No. Can you see my face? Yeah. Let me see yours. <laughs> Show the camera. Hold on, come over here. Look at it. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay, so I thought these would just be fun for like a Halloween um, DIY. And I've never seen these. I got this for my own desk. It says your attitude determines your direction. And it's just a desktop garden flag. And it looks like it comes in these other ones. I don't know if this is old, you guys. I really only got into DIY like Dollar Tree stuff this year when I started watching YouTube when I was working out. And then I started to, I don't need those, baby. I already showed them that. Um, and I started watching Dollar Tree hauls and then here I am. And then I found these. I've never seen paper coasters there, but I mean, besides being cute themselves, I thought these would be great to paint with like the wood beads and the tassels and all that stuff. So if you see cheap paper coasters, grab those. There's, what are you doing full? Eight in here. All right, let's see. More of those glass balls, you're silly. I got one of each of these, get the green one. That's all, just one green. You don't have to put it that close up, honey. This chevron prints one, and then this plain wood one. I think these would be great, you guys, for Christmas ornaments. Yeah. What do you think? Put a picture of your child or your dog. What? Yeah, or a family. Um, put some twine on the back of it and you could gift this or you can make it like a memory or something. Go ahead, baby. So um, I picked some of these up and I think I've seen these before. They're not new by any means, but um, I saw these at my Dollar Tree and I was like, these are gonna be perfect for gifts and DIY, like to put on the front of DIYs. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, this is again, random bag we're going on 36 minutes if you're still here bless your heart um found these which i know are old so that's why i'm saying like i think they were just like pulling stuff out i don't know but this is going to be for christmas diy so if you do have these in your crafting stash save them yeah you can put them up there let me see i'm trying to show you guys stuff that like i found thankful for this day which i'm just going to use on my Mama, desk hey, what? You you flip it, it almost ruined my picture. Yeah. I found this. I've seen this on Crafting by Caitlin, and I thought this is going to be a perfect DIY. You go do that over there, baby, so we don't lose the pieces. DIY for Christmas. So if you have this, keep it. 
I'm going to try and hurry, you guys. I got so much stuff. Found these in the California one, which I have not seen here, the like wider ones. Obviously, we've seen the short ones with the handles, but I haven't seen these wide cutting boards, so I got three of those. I got these old. I know these are old for sure. But whenever I find these that have, you know, that you can do trays or signs with, I buy them. I love this. It's so good to be home. I've never seen this before, so I don't know if it's old or anything, but you can put a cute picture just like that. Okay. Okay, and then I, I thought these would be cute. I don't know what for, but I got these and definitely we would, we would craft, craft those, those suckers up. And then I got a couple more of these. Halloween, Christmas. I have a couple and it seems like they're pretty much in stock now. So I don't think it's something that I have to like hoard necessarily. Thank you, honey. Oh, Everett took it out of the package for us. So pretty. Yeah, found some notepads. So the I found these notepads and I found these. These are also going to be included in the giveaway I did, which is closed. No, you don't need to open that one, baby. Um, so I just got stuff that I thought maybe would be hard to find for other people or whatever. Okay, we need to put these here. Yeah. Um, found these stencils. I've never seen these stencils. I do like this one. Found and this one. Heidi Swap stuff, you guys. These are the little cards. You can see them right there. I think these are cute because you can use them. I make cards with cardstock. There you go. Turn it around so they can see the back. All the things that come in them. This one is amazing with the gold foil. Love those. And whenever I give somebody like their sign that they purchase, I always leave like a little note, personal note on the card. So I thought these would be cute to attach to those as well. So, and you know what? These would be cute Christmas like uh, tags as well. Use a hole puncher and then use some twine. Mm. Those would be so cute. Yeah, I think those are what I have right here. Here, give me those. Let's back. And you guys, I am planner obsessed. I found all, oh, we don't need that. That's a duplicate. This one's not though. Look at that. I hit the jackpot in the California one for all of the Heidi Swap. Well, that one actually was Project Life. Oh, so are these. Sorry. I thought those were Heidi Swap. Found these bubble things. I knew I could use these. Paint over them. Put them right here. Okay. You don't have to show them if they're the same. Okay, so I use my planner. I use the crap out of my planner. You put and um, I just put them right there, honey. Found a bunch of these Crafter Square stickers. 58 pieces. So there's this one. Can you say hi, Everly? Hi. Out this everything. one mm. and all of these have 58 pieces hold mm -hmm. on buddy dollar tree is killing it you guys like come on a dollar a dollar each found those so i am super stoked i use i mean my planner since i've started youtube and stuff like that go back honey these are like bigger um foam sticker things and I don't I don't think I intend to use them for anything yeah, other than painting over them and then I get these because we're gonna do some fun projects with them throughout the year and also they are great if you like to make uh, yeah. your own cards they, look awesome. they do look awesome huh we got some for Valentine's Day you guys you gotta get things when you find them I always feel so compulsive when I go to Dollar Tree but then at the same time yeah. I know if I see something, oh, Everly, if I see something, hold on, please. If I see something and I go back, it's not there. So I am like, I feel compulsive at the moment, but I know I need to get it or else I'm never going to find it again. Okay, so there's that. And then I found these cute eucalyptus ones. Eucalyptus. Um, 
uh, succulents. Look at how pretty. Every, that's the same one, so we don't have to show it, honey. Okay. And then I think one more thing. I found those for the giveaway. These are the Heidi Swap things too. They're clear. We could use them with picture signs, whatever it is. You want to put those back in. In here. In the bag nicely. And then, guys, I need still a little more. Move it out of the people. Um, no, I think they're just this. What? Yeah. Ooh, a velcro. Oh, and a backpack. Like oh, they have zip ties. You guys, if you watch my tutorials, which I'm assuming you do if you're watching this, uh, zip ties for your bows. And that because it's fall. Um, okay, hold on. So, when I found these in California, you guys, I was shook to the core. Like, I literally could not stop looking at them and saying, I cannot believe this was a dollar. You guys, this is five inches by 10 yards. I was just at Hobby Lobby this morning and they did have this side. It was 15 yards though, um, but it was also like $8. So even with 40% off, it, I mean, this is a dollar, this whole thing is a dollar i've been buying these and it isn't even this much burlap um at walmart and those are like 4.97 i think so this was like my my like find of the stop everybody please the find of the century i tell you like i bought i promise i bought from two stores so i didn't like wipe them out but i got like 10 rolls of these because I always conserve the ones that I get at Walmart because they're five dollars so like I try to stray away from them hey I am doing a video we don't need to be fighting on it thank you it's the same exact size this one looks a little bit tighter knit but and then like obviously hold on baby the edges are a little bit more secure than this one but Like here's the white version too, which they don't have different colors. This one is a little, um, I want to say stiff too, like the texture yeah. on them. So yes, that is, that is the find you guys. Now, if you are a part of my giveaway, I already showed you that these will be included. Mm -hmm. Can we open this one? No, we're not opening them because somebody else is going to be taking them home. The eucalyptus so like i said i grabbed things i thought would be maybe hard to find or things i just thought were cool and let's see what else i got for you eco tools these are the mask remover sponges i could not find the um the actual face sponge makeup sponge Ugh, i wanted that so bad um found you all if you are a gentleman, you could just give this to your sister, your mom, whatever it may be. Um, or if you use blush too, get you, get you some, okay? Um, this is the hard candy blush. I actually bought myself this, you guys. This is in the color Honeymoon. And these, I would say, are more of blush toppers. So I actually put blush on today and then put it on top and it gives you that sheen to your blush if you have a deeper complexion i think these are going to look stunning on you um and then i'm also wearing the la color uh highlighter which is gorge so these are going to be in your giveaway along with these um bolero sunflower facial mask with rose hip oil i thought these were just beautiful <laughs> i just thought the package was pretty but um facial mask mask remover I didn't even know I was doing that you guys and then you guys are going to get a set of these and then there's this set with the rooster this one and then I thought these were so cool I had to pick them up for you guys okay all three of them have different strings in them but they are stitch books. They're like a 
journal. I can't open it up. So it says Bye -bye. 42 blank sheets, seven patterns and DIY templates, one plastic needle, nine yards of embroidery floss. So this one's orange. And if you could see, oh wait, where is it? This one. So cactus, a diamond, a popsicle, the chevron print. And I found it in, I only found these three too. That's why I came up with three people would win. Uh -huh. And then there's pink and a green. And I just thought these were so cool. Even if you don't use them yourself or you have kids or a girlfriend that likes to journal. Mommy. Like these were so awesome. And then I included as well, saw these at my new doll, or my Dollar Tree. Yeah. And like I said, I love, hold on bud. I love to journal. So I found these, you, babe. Like, look at all that come in here. And then here is a llama one that I love as well. So yeah, you guys, if you watch my videos all the way through, then you would know that I was doing this giveaway when I reached a thousand subscribers. So thank you. Hold on. Thank you to all my subscribers who tune in to give me a thumbs up, who have subscribed, who have supported me thus far, and um, who watch my videos all the way through. That helps my watch time, which that is my next step into getting monetized so that I could hopefully stay home full time with these kiddos one day. Well, hopefully not full time. They need to go back to school. Okay. Me. You gonna go to school? Yeah. So um, thank you again. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, sorry it was so long, but you guys now, look at this. Sorry, I need to organize all of this. Uh, full day in the works. I don't have enough spice for this girl. Okay, I hope you guys have a good one. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, don't. And uh, welcome to my life.